まだ、まだ。あ、いいですか。いや。あ、いいですか。Please come closer. <laughs> so,、um, can, I, can I start my presentation? Or... Yes,、uh, thank you so much for joining me today. So, today, open source, open source way of working. And probably、um, you are wondering why open source story in、uh, Scrum Gathering, but I will tell you why.、Um, yeah. Success architect at GitHub. At the same time, I'm a、uh, board member of the Inner Source Commons Foundation. And before getting started with this presentation, let me introduce what the、uh, Inner Source Commons Foundation is、uh, briefly. So,、um, Inner Source Commons Foundation is built to drive inner source adoption. So, Inner Source, in short, let's do open source inside the company. It's very,、um, yeah. Are easy, right? So nowadays,、um, we have over th、uh, 3,000、uh, individuals to join our community and also over 750 companies, agencies, and so, so many、um, institutions i s joining our community. Yep. So,、um, but actually,、um, I would like to start with some questions. Does your organization have silos? Probably, maybe all of you, all of you、uh, raise your hand, probably. And then, next question is how open is your project or team? So, actually, Scrum has, if you do Scrum, probably it means you need to have an open mindset. But when it comes to repository or your project page, Imagine that you have、uh, thousands of repositories or maybe hundreds of repositories, and at the same time, you have a Jira confluence and those kind of wiki pages. And I'm,、uh, I'm wondering how many of it is actually open to other people, other teams. And then also, it means transparency as well. So, how transparent is your project or team? So, openness and transparency is、um, a different, right? And then, my final question is Do you want to collaborate like a community? Yes. So, if you want to maximize your team's、um, potential through an open, transparent, and community based way of working, probably this is the session for you. Yep. So, yesterday I took、uh, some photos of,、um, uh, in a concourse, actually. So, so many people put their definition of Scrum. And then I noticed that so many d e f i n i t i o n is only close to some team context. Of course, Scrum is about team. And then it should be close to, in the team. But actually,、uh, when, uh, also, when it comes to visiting the,、uh, the definition of DevOps as well, yeah, de DevOps definition is usually told that. Everything you do to overcome the friction、uh, created by silos. But sometimes the conversation is only closed by dev and ops、uh, context, right? So, my, why not become a great Scrum team that collaborates across silos? So, I'd like to、um, tell you the definition of what the actual inner you know, source is. So, inner source is the application of open source principles to company internal software development. And also, it's not just about doing open source practices inside the company, but also respecting a corporate culture and company constraints is、um, important part. And also, you need to break down the organizational silo by using inner source. Again, one way of working at regional Scrum gathering. So, we have so many f r a m e w o r k around Scrum. When you want to scale your Scrum to other、uh, t e a m you have、uh, probably you can adopt、uh, the framework such as、um, uh, Scrum at scale or a safe framework, right? But when you try to scale Scrum, collaboration t e a m sometimes do not、uh, always. Do not always adopt Scrum, right? 
and then lack of collaboration between even Scrum teams. So the solution here is not always to get them to do Scrum 2 or to make them to understand how our Scrum works. And inner source connects team and code on an enterprise wide scale. And then also you can collaborate um, uh, with a uh, waterfall team or a Kanban based uh, oriented team. So if your Scrum team has such a uh, tight deadline, by using inner source, you can collaborate with, um, for instance, waterfall team. Uh, they are working on a long term base basis. But yeah, and also you need to consider that currently AI is eating the world. So usually um, Scrum team's interest is only one product or one feature, one specific function of the product. But uh, um, instead of competing only with function specific single product, actually if imagine that if GPT-4 or GPT-5, GPT-6 will eat your application. You need to compete with your entire capability as a company. So build an ecosystem that embed your com uh, competitive advantages is massively important recently. So if you use inner source, uh, you can infuse your competitive advantage in into your uh, application and collaborate more and then generate some synergy. And also, um, inner source allows the organization to embed differentiating uh, trade secrets into the code without fear. So this is my uh, favorite quote from uh, the book Getting Started with Inner Source by Andy Oram. Um, so this is the very uh, introductory uh, book about inner source. And I uh, strongly recommend reading this. It's very short. Like a, even it's a O'Reilly book, it only have uh, it only has uh, 20 pages, so yeah, it's easy. And then five to 10 minutes reading, I think. So um, there is a now and accelerate innovation uh, with a transparent culture like open source in Scrum team. And you can also Scrum uh, scale your Scrum team. Yep. And also um, the in interesting fact is inner source is um, uh, so many company, if it's a traditional company or a modern company, uh, is now adopting inner source. So from the traditional company like Siemens, Bosch, Toshiba, or other B BBC, those company, uh, from those company to modern companies like Mercari, uh, Microsoft, of course, GitHub, GitLab, those Twilio people, those companies adopting inner source. If your organization has so many silos, inner source is, uh, should be flourished. So, and then also, uh, when it comes to inner source principles, there are so many similarity to uh, Scrum or Agile principle. So openness, transparency, prioritize mentorship, and a voluntary code contribution are very uh, important for inner source. So openness, it means you need to open your project to other teams or other uh, partners team. So it means you not only just uh, opening your project by uh, changing your repository type from private to public or internal, but also it means you need to have a nice readme.md file or contributing.md file. I'm wondering how many of the repository of yours um, has contributing.md file, right? So actually those kind of ma maintaining those contributing MD file is very uh, profitable and beneficial for um, collaboration. So once uh, some people who are outside the, uh, your uh, team join your, uh, see your project, and then there is no readme.md um, or contributing.md, they have no clue about your project and then they can't uh, start collaborating with you. And then translate, uh, transparency. So I 
And I think um, actually uh, openness and transparency is a completely uh, different thing. Here, transparency means the decision-making transparency. So, so many projects have so many uh, tools uh, when managing your project, right? So, for uh, use GitHub or GitLab, and then for project management, you may uh, use Asana, uh, Trello, or uh, GitHub projects as well, or Atlassian, Jira, Confluence. But I'm uh, I'm skept skeptical. Every, every company pay everybody to uh, pay license to everybody, and then also it means some of your resources not linkable to uh, others. So when it comes to um, the transparency, if your trans decision making is um, not transparent, probably outsider of the team would not join your um, uh, project or it's barely possible to uh, contribute to your project. And prioritize mentorship. Um, actually, if you uh, once join or manage open source project, you will feel that. So contributors are very, very, very important and also um, massively beneficial you know, for your project. And uh, to earn, uh, to get one, even one contributor is very hard stuff for open source project. And also even uh, if it's inside the company, the condition is same. So. If you find a contributor to your project, you need to uh, pri provide a prioritized mentorship. And then also the voluntary code contribution is important. Yep. So probably um, now you may think that, yeah, maybe inner source is beneficial for your project, but probably you think that inner source, the idea is not that new. So actually, it's not that new because um, inner source, the term inner source was coined by Tim O'Reilly, uh, that's Tim O'Reilly, O'Reilly's book, um, in 2000, so um, like uh, 24 years ago. And then also in XP, there is an idea, collective ownership, right? When it comes to DevOps, the final aim, one of the final aim of DevOps is reducing the organizational silos. Then uh, for recent idea, platform engineering also uh, has the idea not to uh, reinvent the wheel. So, but actually um, we, uh, what we think is very same, we want to share our code and we do not want to reinvent the, the wheel. So if you want to prevent reinventing the wheel, or if you want to um, make the co-creation happen, probably you can use uh, inner source uh, principles, inner source practices in your project. So, and also uh, there is a benefit uh, of inner source. For developer experience, so recently, developer experience is very important for every company because um, now every company is essentially a software company after digital transformation. So engineer developers and including um, pro maybe pro product owners is massively important resources for uh, companies. So now company needs to uh, retain their engineers and uh, attract new engineer and uh, try to hire uh, engineers. So transparent culture and collaboration, uh, collaborate, co sorry, co collaborative culture are uh, is very important for them to retain their engineer, right? So um, <clears throat> it's probably um, the same for uh, Scrum Master as well. So. The responsibility of Scrum Master is not project management, right? If you are a project uh, Scrum uh, Master, you need to attract uh, everybody inside the team 
and then also drive the um, delivery in your team. So if you are a Scrum Master, you uh, also need to care about developer experiences as well. So InnoSource is quite useful for uh, driving or um, maximize developer experience. And also uh, for a competitive strategy. So now you need to infuse maybe AI feature in your um, product, or you need to compete with other product uh, which is infusing AI. <clears throat> so you need to build an ecosystem with your competitive advantages. So innovation through co-creation is now um, very essential for uh, every team, and also synergy between products is also essential. Then I'd like to tell you how to start inner source. Now you are under, uh, understood the idea and the concept and principle of inner source. Inner source actually have uh, has four key abilities. For, so uh, if you are um, try to make uh, your project inner source project, you need to consider um, and you also you need to care about uh, for. This, these four key abilities. Uh, first one is discoverable, uh, composable, and contributable, maintainable. So discoverable uh, could be uh, discoverable for everyone inside the company. So, and also it means, as I told uh, that, your documentation and, and project management board should also be open and also discoverable. And composable. So if you um, open your project, but if the project is just a monolithic or repository or monolithic project, no one can contribute to such a monolithic uh, project with high dependency. So if you want to collaborate with other team, you need to split your project or you need to split your code into several parts. Or, or otherwise, um, you don't need to uh, split into hundreds of parts, but you need to uh, put out one part for collaboration. And then you, need, you, you can open um, this only one uh, project or code base uh, part to others. And then contributable. So, um, actually, contributable and maintainable is uh, related. So imagine that you are searching on GitHub or maybe GitLab, and then you uh, witnessed the great repository with great features, but it's not maintained. So final update date was like uh, three years ago. Probably you wouldn't use this repository, right? So maintainable is... It means you need to define, identify someone who can continuously uh, maintain your project. So if it's useful, but it's abandoned, no one use it. So you need to um, keep your repository maintainable and contributable. Of course, con uh, for contributable uh, capabilities, uh, you need to have contribution or contributing.md file on the top of the uh, repository. And also, um, inner source uh, feature or inner source characteristic, it can be, um, uh, you can have, your project can have uh, inner source capability, but doing inner source across the organization is very hard. So usually uh, people create inner source program office to drive inner source. ISPO, not the inner source Scrum product owner, but uh, inner source program office. And um, if you have uh, such an organization like a, um, open source program office to drive open source momentum, probably they can be responsible for inner source as well. But nowadays, there are so many um, group of people inside the company, such as um, uh, developer productivity office, developer experience office, or cloud center of excellence to drive a developer velocity. So maybe 
um, they can uh, handle, you know, they can deal uh, with inner source related or just a sharing code um, activities. So if you can find such uh, people, probably you can say hello to them and then uh, start your conversation of inner source. Those people are responsible for tracking or, and um, drive adoption of inner source inside the company. They are sh uh, they share uh, the inner source policies, inner source metrics, for example, uh, the number of pull requests across teams, and also they conduct uh, mentoring and training. And also they need sometimes they need to uh, develop an incentive model for uh, developers because um, probably you know the Google's 20% rules. So it's make every employee easy to collaborate and contribute to other teams. But if you are uh, one specific team for with one specific purpose, probably your manager uh, will not allow for you to work for other team, right? So when it comes to driving in a source, it means you need to freely contribute, you can freely uh, contribute to other projects. It means maybe incentive model can be uh, developed. So you can start, or uh, they can uh, start uh, having a conversation with HR people about the incentive model. Yep. And um, in addition to that, there are so many uh, best practices around inner source, which is called inner source patterns. This is, a pro uh, this is proven by so many companies like uh, Bosch, uh, Siemens, um, and the other traditional company to uh, PayPal, like um, the modern company like PayPal. So for instance, Trusted Committer is a dedicated role to maintain uh, inner source uh, project. So some foundation uh, has own uh, definition of the maintainer. For instance, Apache Foundation has the definition for maintainer. And also, you know, Source Commons Foundation uh, defined the uh, committer role as trusted committer. So you can just uh, use the practices to manage your uh, collaborative project inside your company. And then 30-day um, warranty uh, to... Uh, to improve trust between two teams by allowing contribution to fix bugs and suggest features with 30 days of support. Contracted com contributor in a source licenses based documentation such as, um, now there are so many uh, useful patterns and um, uh, best practices for in a source. And um, I would recommend using these uh, patterns to manage your in a source project. And usually some people mistakenly understand uh, what the inner source is. So here's three common misconceptions. I, I would like to introduce three misconceptions. The first one is, I am using GitHub. So I'm doing inner source, right? So second one is, it's kind of similar. Uh, inner source can be achieved by implementing tools. And the final one is inner source means in-house production, right? <laughs> so I will start with the easy one. Inner source doesn't mean in-house production. So in Japanese, some people may uh, misunderstood uh, what the inner source is. And then there, there are some similar word to uh, inner source, in sourcing as opposed to um, outsourcing or in-house productions. In Katakana, actually, sometimes uh, people misunderstood what the inner source is and then confused the mis uh, uh, inner source with other uh, concept. But inner source is a term coined by Tim O'Reilly in 2000 to describe the use of open source development methods within a company. So, if someone uh, you know misunderstood what the inner source is, 
Yeah, please tell them uh, what the inner source is. You learn it today. And I also second uh, misconception is I'm using GitHub. I am doing inner source, right? So here's the, my uh, my favorite quote from the book, the book Understanding the Inner Source Checklist by Silona Bonwald. So C Silona uh, is one of the founder of Inner Source Commons Foundation. Then uh, she used to work for PayPal um, and also uh, one of the proponent of uh, Inner Source. The idea that GitHub is all that's needed to be inner source is a concept we fight against daily. Most people do not realize that it takes much more than GitHub to find, create, and grow open source communities. And then large companies lack a sense of holistic community, right? So probably you will agree with the final sentence. Large companies lack a sense of holistic community. So inner source is pretty much about community. So inner source is about people and culture. So inner source is not just a tool because the uh, um, final one is, of, uh, as I told you, that uh, it's very similar to the second one. So inner source can't be achieved by just implementing tools. So of course, GitHub and GitLab, or maybe Bitbucket is useful tool to uh, drive inner source. But when it comes to inner source, how we make better decisions and collaborate more without spending more money is very important aspect. So we need to think beyond the tools and their advantages and flaws and consider people. So inner source is culture and also not just uh, uh, doing open source way of working inside the company. You need to care about company's constraints and also limitation. So yeah, please consider um, inner source culture when you uh, start or you, when you introduce some aspect of inner source into your um, Scrum team. So here's the explanation of inner source by Golden Circle. Probably you know the, the golden circle, what the golden circle is. So Simon Sinek, uh, the very famous people um, invented, invented, I don't know, <laughs> but golden circles, the way of describing the uh, things in better way. Yeah, so inner source is a journey to culturally transform towards an internal sharing economy similar to open source. Why? To enable good decision-making and more collaboration at lower cost and eliminate friction between silos. And how to foster a people-oriented culture, find sources of co-creation within the company and nurture them as a community. And then we happen to reach the uh, conclusion, leveraging open source development practices within your company is the way you can achieve this uh, stuff. And then also there is some anti-pattern of, of inner source. Yep. Inner source is not about deciding how people work. So when you introduce inner source into your um, team or you, you want to collaborate uh, with other team in inner source or maybe open source way, it should be bottom-up activity. So inner source should not be introduced in a top-down approach, but you need to consider a community and a bottom-up approach of working inside the company. And um, also um, uh, mindset, when it comes to mindset, you essentially need to be um, the person who are willing to share your code bases. So, you own your course doesn't mean inner source. And then you can be a maintainer, but at least you need to compromise that your code base is shared and uh, valuable to others. And then also inner source is about people, as I mentioned that. So product, pro uh, product is not equal to uh, code because if someone 
some maintenance stop working or uh, leaving their, the company or abandon the code base, your inner source project should be abandoned too. So product equal people is way we can uh, achieve uh, inner source. Yep. Here's the key takeaways. So let's remove friction between silos. So if you work for a Scrum team, but you probably you need to work with other team as well. And then if you once work with other team, you must have some dependency. And then you need to collaborate with them uh, seamlessly. Probably inner source can be the way you can work uh, in a better way. Also, inner source is a corporate, a corporate culture change journey, um, fostering a people-oriented culture, find the sources of open source and uh, co-creation within your company and nurture them as a community. Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is my final slide of my presentation, and I'm, I'm going to move uh, to the uh, QA session. So do you have any uh, questions? Uh, Japanese is okay. So actually I have, a, here it is. Thank you so much. So the first time I heard about this was when I talked to you yesterday. <laughs> yes. Right. And it's apparently been around for a long, long time. Um, I've just been reminiscing on, you talked about communities and it's internal communities within a company in your experience and what you've seen. What are some of the great ways you've seen inner source development communities created and nurtured inside companies? Yep. So um, your, your question is about uh, case studies or um, cases, how uh, internal communities flourished, right? So yeah, actually, um, as a GitHub person, I helped uh, so many companies to drive inner source inside the companies. And then to tell the truth, in Japan, inner source is, uh, has just started. <laughs> So I haven't witnessed so many cases about uh, internal community and also <coughs> um, um, successful case studies in Japan, but I could uh, borrow from the other uh, case studies from the uh, Europe, so in pro uh, probably Bosch. So actually they uh, perceive inner source as not a single stuff, but they combine some other uh, methodologies or um, ideas. For instance, um, the one person uh, who is responsible for uh, inner source is also responsible for API economy inside the company. And also they are responsible for DevOps. So they are driving their community by not, not just by driving inner source, but also combine so many stuff um, uh, including DevOps and uh, Agile Scrum. And then they uh, try to attract people to let them learn uh, inner source and then let them uh, open their project. So actually, uh, as I mentioned in the earlier slide, inner source idea is not that new, right? So XP has collective ownership. So. Um, people, uh, when people tell inner source inside the community, they replace the word uh, from inner source to with other uh, words like uh, collective ownership, and then drive adoption of inner source, and then build the community. Yep. Yep. 
I have a question, actually. <laughs> Uh, hi, thank you for your talk. Uh, my question would be, when we go to inner source, then some team members or teams, they might resist because they don't want to others to to work in uh, together with them or collaborate or work in their code base uh, because of uh, different reasons. So do you have any experience uh, yes. with this resistance? And what would be your approaches to overcome it so if they want to register let them register <laughs> the way actually uh when uh when it comes to inner source people imagine that inner source is flourishing uh, across the team across the organization and i'm so successful but the true story is just a uh, inner source has started with the very single one uh, team to team collaboration so if you want to start a team collaboration, uh, you should identify the collaborative team to start with uh, inner source. So you shouldn't start with the very, um, start in a hard way with the uh, fixed mindset team, but um, you can start with the other flexible team to get started. So, yeah, there are so many uh, cases uh, I faced when it comes to driving Indian souls. And then they are resisting um, uh, to adopt inner souls with infinite reasons. For instance, uh, they are uh, scared of uh, profit sharing across the company or they are scared of transfer, uh, transfer pricing issues. Then they don't want to share uh, your code, th their code to other teams. But... You, you don't need to start with such a uh, condition. You need to find uh, the ideal and a flexible and a um, very small team, actually. Okay, thank you. Marigoto. So how many of you uh, have known the term inner source before this presentation? Oh. Thanks so much. <laughs> I should have skipped some of my uh, introductory slide again. <laughs> yep. Up. <laughs> Please. Ah. Ah. Eh, Nihongo de. Sorry. Eh, to. Yo, hajimete inner source っていう言葉を。位置をつかめてないんですが、あの、社内で、とある、例えば、とあるチームが開発している自分たちのプロダクトのための、まあ、コードがあって、で、そのうちの一部が、一部はなんかもっといろんな人が使えるようなライブラリーとして切り出すそうだみたいな時に、そこをなんか切り出して、あの、社内の他のチームでも使ってもらったり、その他のチームからのコントリュートを受けれるようにすると、するみたいなイメージ、で、え、なのかなって思ったんですが、ど、どうなんでしょうか。はい。じゃ、これは日本語で答えますので、もし、あの、あれだ、で。あ。<笑>あの、補足お願いします。えっと、えー、そうですね。あの、まさにおっしゃる通りです。例えば、仮に、あの、ルビオンレイルズのアプリケーションがあったとして。で、あ、モノリスですよね、基本的に。で、多分そういうところにコラボレーションって生まれにくいと思うんですよ。でそうしたときに、ジェムとか、あの、レイズエンジンとかに切り出して、そこでコラボレーションを始める。で、ただ、あの、あんまりその切り出したところが、他のチームにとって価値のないものだったら別に切り出す必要もないですし、そのチーム内で完結すればいいものなので、例えば汎用的なライブラリだとか、あとは、例えば製造業とかよくあるんですけれども、特許技術が埋め込まれているものとか、を自,自社の競争優位性のために使う。でそれを共有して、他のチームとのコラボレーションの時にシナジーを生み出すみたいなところは、あの、まあ、イナーソースの目的としてよく使われているところです。で、ただ、あの、一番最初、イナーソースが始まった時は、そういったあのところが多かったんですけど、最近は、あの、開発者体験を上げるためにどうやってイナーソースを取り組んで
透明性を高めたチームで開発できるようにするのかっていうところも結構課題になっているのであのそうしたところでは必ずしも競争優位性とかがないところでも、まあ、円滑にコラボレーションをするっていうところの意味合いを込めて割といろんなプロジェクトをオープンにするケースも増えてきたりはしています。ありがとうございます。はい。今のは英語翻訳しなくて大丈夫ですか。<笑>天の声が来ると思いましたが、<笑>どうどうでしょう。ええー、私が言った方がいいですか。So, uh, the question was um um about uh what the、uh, actually inner source is. So, I uh provided some example of inner source cases. So, if you have a Ruby on Rails application, probably you can split um your um application functionality into some gems and then、uh, start cobulation by using、uh, Ruby gems. Uh, but actually,、uh, when uh, the inner source has started, so many companies care about their competitive advantages and they want to share their competitive advantages inside the company. So that's、uh, why their focus is on such a stuff and、um, business、uh, objectives. But recently,、uh, developer experience、um, is a very、uh, important objective for every company. They need to retain、uh, track engineers. So, not only that kind of co competitive advantage aspect,、uh, company t r y to、uh, make their team and、uh, organization as、uh, transparent and open as possible. So, if the part is not the,、uh, doesn't have any competitive advantages, if、uh, they can use、uh, The, they, they can use inner source for、uh, drive openness and transparency inside the team.、Uh, recently, the company is happy to、um, adopt inner source in those kind of general、um, functionality and uh, um, product or parts. So, this is the,、uh, what I see recently. Yep. This is the、uh, question and answers. <clears throat> yes, so probably I'm done. Let's start in our source. <laughs>